Next, we want to create the uh, back bodice pattern. And the first thing I'm going to do is just to create a temporary guideline here. That is where all my draft scenes will start from. Yeah, so I've wrote that line there. So on that line, I'm going to mark my back neckline width and the neckline width I'm using for the back is same as the front which is three inches in the width but it, for the for the depth is going to be one inch for the depth is going to be one inch it's actually standard measurement but also if you look at my measurement here the measurement of my nape to waist in the front is 14 and the nape to waist at the back is 15 so the difference is just one inch so that is why i'm marking out one inch there so i'm going to connect the two points with my french curve depending on how uh, low you want to make the back of course when you are creating your style line your design you can design the uh, the bodies in any way you want it, but this is just the basic bodies block and then you can um, Transfer design style it the way you want it when you are creating your styles Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to find our shoulder line Shoulder line half of my shoulder line is eight inches eight inches just like the front you take it down by one inch okay and then connect that point to your neck line okay roll a straight line up to the neck point and the next thing you want to do is to is to find the length of the arm side again from the end of your shoulder line at the back and that is eight and a half inches and then you draw a straight line across to the center back that would be our chest line and then what you want to do is to the same 8 inches you measured here measure the same on your chest line and roll a straight line across to meet the shoulder line Okay, the next thing you want to do is to measure the length of the waist, which is going to be the exact 17. Remember, we are not adding any two inches to the back. We only needed to add that to the front because of the bust dart. So it's 17 inches here uh, for the waist measurement. And then we have 25 inches for the hip measurement. Again, remember, you're not adding any any two inches there so I'm going to rule lines across for the waistline and for the hip line next thing we want to do is to create the waist uh, dart. To do that, on the chest line, mark out the bust span, half of the bust span, which is 4 inches. Do the same on the waist line, 4 inches. Do the same on the hip line, 4 inches. And then on the chest line, you want to bring it down by 1 inch. This is optional. You can actually take it all the way to the uh, to the bust line, but I like to start uh, one inch down and rule a straight line all the way down to the hip line on the bust span. So to find our waist again, the intake of the dart for the waist is one inch. So you mark half an inch on both sides of the dart and on the hip again 
raise it up by two inches away from the hip line to give room for the back butt and then connect all the line together to form the waist dart for the back. Remember, this is a customized basic bodice block. It is not the industry bodice block. That is why I'm using the measurement that I'm using because it is uh, meant to fit a particular body. So once you've done that, I have taken in one inch here for the dot intake on the waist. I'm gonna be taking in a quarter of an inch at the center back as well. And that is to be able to uh, take care of the bulge in the middle of the back. So I'm taking away a quarter of an inch dot at the center, but you will go, you have to go half an inch lower, yeah? You go down half an inch away from the waist dot mark that and then measure a quarter and then you connect this to the bust line and to the hip line to create our dart for the center back okay as you can see you connect that straight to the bust line and to the hip line at the center back. So that is going to eliminate the bulge at the center back. So the next thing we want to do is to create our armhole for the back. Again, just like you did in the front, you want to find the mid part of the back armhole. So the mid back you fold the tape measure into half to find the mid back. This is totally optional, what I want to do here. But usually, I like to take away a quarter of an inch for my shape. Just a quarter of an inch at the back to eliminate the bulge around the back armhole, alright? It is optional, you don't have to do that, for, but for me, I like a good fit at the back as well as at the front. So I take in uh, a quarter of an inch there. In the front, we took out three quarter of an inch, but for the back, I'm taking in a quarter of an inch. You can go in uh, half an inch as well, if you like, depending on how curvy your back is. Remember, our body is not straight 2D, our body is 3D, our body is curvy. And you want to give room to that. Once you know your body, you will be able to know uh, perfectly what, well what you need to take out. So I'm taking out just a quarter of an inch there, and then I will connect the line to my shoulder. Yeah. And I'll finish it off with a French curve all the way to the bust line area. Okay, so that's gonna be my armhole at the back. So the next one we want to do is to create our horizontal measurement, which is our circumferences. So for the uh, bust, for the bust circumference, again, just like we did in the front, is 10.75. That is a quarter of my bust circumference plus a quarter of an inch, 10.75 just right there. My waist circumference starting from the dot intake here, from the dot there, okay? So a quarter of my waist plus one inch dot intake that we have for the waist plus a quarter of an inch. So that will give me 9.75 and I'm starting the measurement from that dot that I've taken out at the center back. So that is 9.75 of an inch which is just right there and the hip is 10.75 10.75 so I'll connect the lines together 
The back is pretty straightforward because there is no bust darts at the back. What I've done here, the quarter of an inch that I've taken away here, you can actually take it away at the shoulder point, but I choose to take mine away uh, from the armhole, so I'm just going to cut this out now. And that is our bodies that is the front and that is the back that's the center front this is the center back and that is the side as you can see the side of the front matches the side of the back because the two inches that we took in that we added was meant to take in our dart now the dart is folded over here and slashed and moved to the shoulder okay so that is the front bodies and this is the back bodies if you have any question any question whatsoever please leave it in the comment box below and i'll do all my possible best to answer all the question i really appreciate that you have joined in today to view this video uh please give us a thumbs up please like it please subscribe uh please share and i really appreciate you thank you very much and god bless Thank you.